whole garage smells like EA5. <laughs> How's it going guys? Here with another video. Uh, in this video, we are going to be installing my dash camera. The dash camera is going to be going right up there. As you can see, I have the little mount already ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the wire all the way up here. Have it go down this pillar all the way down here. Move this way. There's a cigarette lighter over here. Uh, I already have one right there. It controls my lights underneath, as you guys can see. Um, but I want to make it look neat. So what I'm probably going to have to do is right here. I have to cut a hole right here. I have to make another hole over here because this is kind of tied up and this doesn't fit as well. Um, so I'm going to be making a mark there and then a mark right here. But uh, in order to take this off, you have to take off this, take off this, get a flat head and then run it all through here and then pop the whole thing out. And there's also a switch underneath here that has to be disconnected. Otherwise, let's get to it. Um, the first thing I have to do is take these off and then there's two bolts. Uh, I think they are six mil or seven mil. I could be wrong but uh we'll figure out as we go <laughs> i've taken this thing out so many times so hopefully i don't break any of the tabs there are two tabs also over here and over here that are pretty hard to get to but it shouldn't be too bad so uh let's get right to it Now this is connected to the shift boot originally, but mine is broken because I did an Alcantara shifter. <laughs> um, so this is actually very hard to get off. These two will be connected. You could get a flathead and take it off. It'll come off, but you might get little stuff like this. Uh, luckily these are inexpensive. They're, I think they're $10 at the dealer. I just haven't bothered to buy one. You would have to stick a flathead from the side and pull it off very gently. There is, I believe, one, two, three, four, five tabs. I'm just gonna have it pulled up like that for now. And then, uh, yeah, now this thing is ready to come off. So uh, I'm going to make a little mark right here. And then make a little mark right here and then uh, start cutting. So it should be good to go. So I have something like that, make a little hole like that, and uh, it should fit no problem. I just have to kind of clean it up. But uh, yeah, so this is done. Now I just need to do over here. And uh, that's about it. That's, that is the hole right there. You guys can see it. So uh, now time to get this back into the car and figure out how the wires are gonna go and then uh, we should be good from there. Before, I forgot to show you guys the actual camera. Uh, obviously it's not packed like this. It's much more professional when they send it over to you, but I opened it. Uh, this is a rear view camera. Uh, I don't need this just because I already have. Um, but yeah, this is the actual camera right here. It's super light, nothing too crazy. The footage is okay. This is actually pretty cheap. It was around $45. Um, but I can't have it just as another peace of mind, God forbid, if anything were to happen. But uh, yeah, this is only $45. It is made by this company. Uh, I can't even pronounce that to be honest. But yeah, it's actually very easy to set up. Before I put everything all back together, I wanna at least see this is if this is a good length, this wire. 
uh, if it's gonna reach all the way to the top it i measured it it was good but you know you never know <laughs> you never know if something changes so i'm gonna run it All right, looks like it's working. Uh, I already ran the wire, that way it looks a little bit cleaner. I ran the wire all the way from the top of here, as you can see. And then ran it all the way back here, down here. This whole part section right here, and then goes all the way down to the... I'm going to clean this up to make it look a little bit cleaner, but uh, now I can install all the parts since they're all working. All right, guys, this is what happens when you don't measure properly. <laughs> Sorry guys about that, uh, I didn't really get to finish the video. Uh, the timing was a little too late, so I had to end up going to work and then I couldn't really explain this process. I had to help my mom <laughs> with certain things. But uh, yeah, that's besides the point. I'll just re-explain this. So yeah, essentially what I did, as you guys saw, I made the hole over here. Let me get a light real quick. So yeah, I ended up making a hole right there, as you guys can see. Um, but I didn't take into account this thing up here, this piece. So every time you close it, it will have a hard time closing. It will be hard. So I made another hole over here, this one right here on the side, and it still went closed. So I didn't measure it correctly, but now I made a hole over here, which is where it's at right now. So now that's perfectly fine. This is able to close. No problem. Luckily I got that settled. So I ran the wire all the way under here, all the way up here. I had to reorganize the bottom a little bit for my LEDs and everything. That's why I have it kind of zip tied. Ran it all the way up here. You just kind of see it right there, all the way up here. And then kind of under the visor, right here where that wire is. And then it goes straight to the camera. And everything else still works. Uh, the ignition on, but yeah, the lights still work. Camera up here still works. I don't really put the camera in front of me, at least. Uh, so I hope you guys have a great day. If I didn't cover anything in this video, feel free to comment down below and I'll be happy to reply. I probably tried making this outro like 10 times already, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that little installation. Maybe you could learn something from my mistakes. <laughs> uh, next video is going to be most likely a dyno day. I'm going to be dynoing the Mustang to see how much it actually makes. I think that's honestly going to be a great video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, but until next time, take care guys. Cheers.